Stevenson falls today to Gettysburg 17-3. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Rayleigh. Coach, you are playing the number one team in the country, the two-time defending champions. Given that context, what did you think of your team's efforts? Yep. Effort is, is not an issue with us this year. We give 100% for the full 60 minutes. No matter who's in there, you're coming off the bench, you're a little cold, they go out there, they fight hard, they play hard. Um, I, I will tell you, you know, even with a score like 17 to 3, I am so proud of a lot of what we accomplished today. Um, we really executed some powerful, powerful defense. Uh, Maybe we were just an inch off on checking the, the catch inside the eight or just a little off angle on a, on a save. But the, pe the pe puzzle pieces are there, and we're so close to putting it all together. I, I really had some of my proudest moments today to bring that many young players up to that kind of caliber defense. Um, I was really, really happy with that. Well, first thing I would say is happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Not okay. today, but just. Okay. Just, just. Yes, 29. Again. Looks good yes. on you. Yes. 29 uh -huh. looks good uh -huh. on you. Yeah. <laughs> um, 22 freshmen on that yeah. field today. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we, Glenn and I have already looked through your stats. Mm -hmm. Clears great. Two missed clears out of 17 or something. Right. Clears were great. Yep. Saves were even. Mm -hmm. Both teams had mm -hmm. nine saves. Mm -hmm. So, so many good things happening today. So many great things. You know, I, Claire's are, we worked a lot on Claire's. And, and for me, to have a young team that we put a plan into place and then they execute that plan, that, that's all a coach can ask for. Right. Uh, being that young, you, you just never know when the wheels are going to come off the cart with one, two, five, six, or however many are out there at one time. Um, everybody is, is doing exactly what we need them to be, to do to be great in May. And I really feel like we're going to be great in May. Yeah. The draw controls. Yeah, what, yeah. So you tried a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you see, and and how does that improve? Clearly, that seemed to be the biggest thing early on is that you just needed to get the ball. We needed to get the ball, and and one of the things that does, and and I will be working with the attack with this. When you don't see the ball for a while, the attack goes into this mindset of being stagnant, and we played very stagnant attack today, and we had really gotten to the point over the you know the play days and the Salisbury game of we were moving well, we were taking a lot of shots and. And I was really happy with how we were progressing with that. I think when you don't get the draw very often, um, the, those attackers that are back there are a little stagnant. They, they, they can't get into a flow. And I think that that was part of our problem with scoring today. So not only are you not getting the ball, but when you do, you're flat. Yeah. And so we're going to try to, um, I'm going to try to point that out so that we know to identify that flatness and know why that flatness occurs and then try to counter that with really a, just a high sparking attacking offense. Even if we're getting the ball, you know, seven, eight times a half you know, or, or having to get it off of a clear every time, I, I want to make sure that they're on fire when it's their turn to step up to the plate. Well, yeah. two tough ones, but two really good teams. Uh, yeah. And now you move forward, Randolph making next Saturday. And, Absolutely. Um, at, you know, at least it's not the number one team in the country. Hey. Two <laughs> yeah, we, we are super excited to, to get out there and show what we can do. We have a week to prepare. We'll be able to see them in action. Um, we're, we're just, I'm very, very happy about uh, so many things today. And, and before we bring the player up that I've asked to be here, I want to tell you why we've brought okay. her up. Okay. Okay. I charged... Uh, do it, can I give away who sure. it is? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I, I charged Carly Bowes to play every minute that Steph Colson played. So Steph Colson has been tabbed the preseason player of the year. And I keep trying to tell Carly how good she is and how, you know, how, what she can do on offense. Sometimes on defense, she's the most amazing defender in the country. And sometimes on offense, she's the most amazing attacker in the country. I keep telling her that. I wanted her to see that today, so I told her before the game, she, every minute that girl plays, you're going to play. She had goals. She shut her down. She got in her head. I could not be more proud of how our player matched up with the preseason player of the year. Awesome. And and I, I, I'm I psyched to bring her up here. So, see, I did your intro today. There you go. <laughs> see? So I'll, my, I need to, like, my pay check. I'll, I'll, I'll check my mailbox when I get home. Yeah, you can pay as much as I do. Right. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes. And we'll Thank talk you. to you. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks. Coach Kathy Rayleigh.